Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Michael Jordan. First card I've bought off the player market in a while, actually. I am super excited about adding MJ to my team. I understand he is expensive. He is 273,000 MT. That is a lot. Almost as twice as much as his Amethysts. And that is about as high as I think pack prices for any card should go this year. If it goes any higher than that, I'm going to be legitimately disappointed. Because um, if we see Dark Matters later this year for 400,000 MT, that's just absolutely ridiculous and unacceptable. So hoping that that will not be the case. But I am okay with this when you are buying a 94 overall when the previous cards that have been coming out in pro in in the player market are 91 overalls like this card is significantly better than any other card that's come out in the player market this year uh at least that's directly viable and not a lock-in card so the fact that he's this expensive is okay with me i do think you're looking at the new best shooting guard in the game super excited to try him out and he has an agenda if you score 23 points with him in any game the first weekend it's only until sunday night but you get 50k mt back so that's pretty fire as well but without further ado let's hop right into it see what mj is looking like six six shooting guard uh obviously from north carolina michael jeffrey jordan 90 7 offense, 94 defense with a 94 driving layup, 94 post fade, 96 mid range, 76 three ball. Shoe will definitely boost up his three ball. Number one, 89 three free throw, and then uh, 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 88 steal, 94 perimeter, 85 interior is incredible. Uh, he's also crazy fast. 95 speed, 90 speed ball, 90 excel, and 94 lateral quickness. Probably put the shoe will probably boost up lateral quickness, speed, so you'll, or speed of ball and excel, as well as lateral quickness, and then probably either interior or steel, and then three ball would be what I would put shoe on him. Uh, badge wise, he doesn't get every Every badge upgradable, but he comes with almost every key badge. Nine Hoffs, which is a ton, including Fast Twitch, Fearless Finisher, Posterizer, Deadeye, Midi Magician, Clamps, Precision Dunker, Blow By, and Right Stick Ripper, as well as 28 gold badges, including, and Right Stick Ripper, by the way, that's an amazing badge. 28 golds include Acrobat, uh, Slithery, Guard Up, Bailout, Break Starter, Ankle Braces, Challenger, Glove, Interceptor, Off Ball Pass, Pogo Stick, Bunny, Float Game, Scooper, Spin Cycle, Two Step Whistle, Free Points, Open Looks, Speed Booster, Triple Strike, Fast Feet, and 94 Feet, Silver Postman, Technician, Blinders, Catch and Shoot, Claymore, Ankle Breaker, Handles for Days, Hyper Drive killer combos needle threader chase downers pick dodger workhorse and post fade phenom physical handles and bulldozer as well as bronze drop stepper slippery off ball space creator post playmaker special delivery unpluckable spot finder relay passer and touch passer look at the badges to add on him i would say corner specialist if you can upgrade some of these bronze and silver badges go ahead and do that as well and overall mj is looking like a dog no agent threes no limitless range that's about it in terms of key badges he's missing i guess anchor as well but i don't think that one's super crucial on a guard at this point in the game he does move really well this year the mj actually moves really really nice which i think is a is a huge W. His front size up is really good. Uh, his escape is the Kimbo escape, which people are saying is maybe the best escape in the game. And I kind of see why. It is a really, really good escape behind the back. I think he has a pretty good behind the back as well. Let's see what his full court sigs are looking like. Uh, I know this is a very long intro and I apologize. Ah, behind the back isn't actually that great. So I don't know about that behind the back, but he's going to be one of the best couple slashes in the game. He's going to be incredible from the mid range and the mid range is really good this year. And from the three point line, he's going to be good as well. This release is smooth. It's easy to green. It's solid. It's not fast. And that is is a little bit disappointing when you compare him to Brandon Roy or especially a guy like Devin Booker or even a Kyle Korver release wise he's just not at the level of those guys but I don't think this card is really a primary ball handler with the uh, gold speed booster and the playmaking badges that he has and everything like that as well as the Hoff blow by he's going to be an incredible slasher an incredible catch and attack the rim type of guy he's going to be a monster on the offensive end of the court and his shot creation is going to be some of the best of any shooting guard in the game especially with the escape that he has just not going to be the greatest three hunter in the world but this movement is super solid he's super fast and he's by far the best defensive guard in the game this mj card is going to be the best shooting guard in my team i do definitely believe that even without being the best shooting shooting guard in my team so let's hop into a game let's see what michael jordan can do no way i match another bad team bro i've loaded into three games and i've matched up against three mediocre teams um whatever let's finish let's let's get a good game in here um i got a little bit of gameplay from earlier obviously that i could show y'all from the first game but let's see if we can get ourselves another decent game here going up against marcus smart at least like he's got marcus smart and pippen and rodman like he's actually got a good defensive team look at the speed mj with 95 speed is just gonna be so hard to stay in front of there are so many wings people are using right now that have 75 80 85 speed even the faster wings in the game guys like Kawhi and scotty pippen have 85 speed the fastest guards obviously have speed that is at least comparable to MJ, but even they aren't as fast as he is. And remember, he's 6'6", not 6'2". As a slasher, he is 
almost unstoppable right now if you put the right offense around him. Now, I think actually MJ is at his best as not your primary ball handler and as your secondary ball handler. I will probably at least start him next to Steph, which means I'll run him next to Shaq as well, which means his slashing isn't quite as useful. But I think the defense is incredibly useful. This is card. I think as long as you put him next to a shot creating point guard, he is the best shooting guard in the game. Even next to a non shot creating point guard like a D Wade, if you run him with stretch bigs who can pop effectively, I think he's the best. Um, I think he's going to be the best shooting guard in that situation as well. The only way that he's really not the best shooting guard in the game is if you're using him with an inside center. That's a crazy dunk animation, by the way, on Cat. He just put him in the room. I didn't even commentate it, but that was crazy. Um, but the only way I don't think he is is if you're using him as an inside with an inside center and expecting him to be your primary ball handler. Because then he's not that effective because he's not really a three hunter. And that's something you have to know from the mid-range. That's a good pull-up. I just have to hit it. I wanted I, I timed that early because I was expecting a different animation. I was expecting a uh, animation there with where it would he just great. This dude's actually a dog. His team sucks, but he's he's hitting some shots. I don't know how that was open, but um I was expecting a front fade animation, which was a faster animation, but crap, dra drag him back. I mean, he cooking Marcus Smart right now. Um, ah, yeah, yeah. We're kind of boxed right here, this this possession, though. I'm not going to lie. Get in that post and drop step Marcus Smart and go up. He's a little, oh, I thought I could get that. Just overpower him. Not quite able to. That was bad offense by me more than anything else. Um, step up on, oh, I meant to step up on Cat with AD. That's fine. Switches here. That's a terrible shot. Thank you. I was going to say, if he hits another crazy shot, he's hit a couple of tough ones, but that one was, that one was a little OD. If he had hit that, I would have been a little bugging. Um, um, pull up from the mid range. I'll take that fade MJ. Oh my gosh. I got to hit that slightly early. I got to adjust to his animations a little bit. That was a backwards fade. Like that's a weird shot. That's not a shot. You take a lot that backwards fade, but I don't feel like I'm playing super efficiently with him in either of these games. Um, not playing to my best, uh, capabilities. I guess I would say, uh, burst in here, attacking downhill again. And I mean, just pick and pop big. That's where he's at his best. Use your big as a pick and popper and go downhill with MJ. That's where he's going to be at his best. Um, I think this card's a dog. I do think he's best shooting guard in the game. I don't feel like I'm actually playing that well with him, but I definitely think he's best shooting guard in the game. We'll try to get him a three next possession. And I think we're going to call it the vast majority of threes. I will shoot with this card are when he is wide open or occasionally off like an escape or something. Uh, if they're playing a little bit low going under screens and stuff, generally it's not going to be a ton of like hunting for threes with the card, but pulling that that's a little late i feel like it was yeah i felt that. that's my fault i gotta adjust to his release a little bit it's not an elite release that is definitely his weakest point is his release but that is also okay i still think he's gonna be a great card uh i just was trying to switch matchups to put him on curry to end the game we're actually down four right now this is bad i might not show you all that first game i might just play this game uh let's lock in and win this game dude because this dude i'm like not focusing too much right now and he's not a terrible player but i need to win this game for sure getting inside with mj kicking it back out i'm gonna get mj as a screener here actually another way he's gonna be really Really effective because he's so good on the inside is to use him as a screener and then attack smaller guards who are going to be guarding him especially because people are going to put their primary ball handler if you have him on Steph if you're playing him with Steph or Kyrie or somebody like that they're going to put their primary defender on Steph on Kyrie they're not going to put their primary defender on MJ which means you're going to get a lot of mediocre defensive cards uh guarding MJ and he can be a huge mismatch as a screener or attacking those guys in a five out uh which is another huge advantage to this card because of how fast how athletic and how capable he is on the inside great defense by Steph Curry holy crap um swing it out to mj at the top catch we're gonna see if we can get ourselves like a fade off the screen or something i'm gonna go this way um spin back to that is a very slow animation i am not a fan of that animation would not recommend his uh double spin animation that is a bad one. Oh, good d mj i mean he still got the pass through but how many guards are actually getting to that pass right now that was actually really nice even though i didn't wind up converting and again he's just out in transition faster than everybody to the rim finishing through contact as a slasher, he's so good. I'm, I'm I'm, starting to consider running him off my bench. I really am. Next to my popping bigs. Or maybe running Shaq off my bench. I don't know. Because, like, I want to use him as a slasher. And next to Shaq, he's just not that. So it makes me almost want to bring one of those guys off my bench. And honestly, since MJ is the new card, I think I'll bring MJ. Uh, I'll put MJ in the starting lineup. Um, and he is a dog, bro. This card is amazing. I mean... I mean, good luck, Steph Curry. This is a mismatch. Go to work. Fade from him. I'm trying to use these pro play. His animations are slow, bro. I'm not going to lie. His, like, pro play fade and stuff animations, I'm trying to use them to be creative because it's MJ. But... It's just, they're not that good. I would stick to his pretty standard animations. He's got an amazing escape, good dribble style, very good size up, moves well in the perimeter. Using him as a pick and pop ball handler is where he will probably be at his best offensively or just standing off the ball and letting somebody else work and then he can dominate defensively. I mean, he's going to be great regardless though. And uh, that is going to do it for this game. I hope, because we're going to hit a game winner right now, right here. That was great defense. I was talking like the game was decided. It's a tie game right now and I'm going to hit a game winner right now. And we're going to go home happy with Michael Jordan. Uh, run the ball up the court. MJ comes at a screen. 
Damien for me, Chris Bosch. We're going to attack the baseline, go all the way. And are you kidding me? I just got the worst animation ever. What just happened? <laughs> What a chaotic game. Let's win the tip and win the game with MJ. I should be able to pretty easily win the game if I just go straight pick and pop. With five seconds left, I didn't really have the time, and I didn't get him into the screen, uh, and that was my fault. It just wasn't a good possession. Not my best performance by any means, I got to say, but MJ is a dog, bro. Like, if you use him properly, he is so nice, and I can just tell he's so good. Um, there just aren't guards with the versatility that he has on the inside, defensively, speed-wise, slashing-wise, and still capable as a shooter. I mean, he's just really really nice as a card in my team so uh let's get the pick and f I, I meant to go pick and fade here that's a pick and roll but it'll still work i think because we get down here with mj and that's why that's exactly why i got lucky and got a foul call which will we're going to win the game off of because he's an elite free throw shooter and has an amazing free throw release but that's why you go pick and pop not pick and fade because i have because an inside center right there you can help down with a center that's why i'm not playing with the shack right there uh 14.6 to 12 not the most efficient performance but the card's an amazing he's a dog on both ends of the court top back to the main menu and lets you do the goat really really great card michael jordan i mean I, i'm actually i'm going to do it i am going to start i think sean kemp at power forward and i i don't know we're gonna figure it out i might go ad at power forward bosch at center i don't know what i'm gonna do yet uh, but i'm going to find a way to get mj in my starting lineup and shack off my bench i think i don't know exactly how i'm gonna run it but i think it's gonna be something like this because Dude, I need to use MJ. He is so, so good as a slasher. And I want to run him next to Curry as well. I think this is probably the best way I could do my lineup, but I don't know how I feel about Shaq and Kemp together. Like, I almost like this better. I don't know. We'll see. But regardless, MJ has got a spot in the lineup, and he is an absolutely elite card in my team. Super, super excited to add him to the team. Definitely the best shooting guard in the game. Um, very, very impressed by the card. So if you're, I mean, 273K is a lot, but you do get 50K back if you buy him first weekend and score 23 points in a game with him, which I obviously will be accomplishing. And then also, you can sell him back, grade him, sell him back, and you can get a good chunk of your MT back that way as well. It's not like a lock-in, so I'm a fan of that. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.